Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today I'm going to be testing out some new features bringing productivity to the Oculus Quest 2. In the latest version 28 update on Quest 2, Oculus have added the functionality to be able to bring your desk and a keyboard from Logitech into your virtual space. And this is a small step towards Facebook's vision of Infinite Office, a collection of features built into Oculus Home designed to make working in VR more productive and flexible. Now, Facebook aren't the only ones working on the virtual office concept. Microsoft are also working towards this goal with Microsoft Mesh. And both companies believe that working in VR and AR will be a valuable tool in the future. But one of the biggest issues, unless you're just remotely meeting up or collaborating together on a design in VR, is that for most office work, you need to be able to type effectively. And that's where the Logitech K830 keyboard comes in. Logitech have teamed up with Facebook to offer the first fully tracked keyboard to work natively with the Quest 2. I was able to pick mine up quite cheap from eBay, but they retail new for around 80 US dollars or 80 British pounds. I'll add a link to it in the description down below if you're interested. So in this video, I'll go through the setup of my own virtual office. I'll test it out with some basic tasks, and then I'll see if I can play some typing of the dead using virtual desktop. I'll be talking more about what I think of productivity and remote working in VR at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in my little desk environment area, all ready to get set up for my virtual office. Just bear in mind that this uh, table is a little bit low, this chair is a little bit high, so it's not ideal, but for the purposes of this video, it will do just fine. So the first thing we need to do to set up our virtual office is to bring our desk space into the virtual world. And to do that, we go to settings and scroll down to experimental features and then bring your desk into VR. Now you might not be able to see this, but I'll add some footage in after the fact, but basically you need to trace the edge of your desk space, edge to edge, set the controller on the desk to confirm the height and press the trigger and your desk space will then appear in your virtual world. So this is what I've set up as my desk space area. And the cool thing is now, I don't need to use the controllers anymore, is that I can actually get up from this space and move around because it's persistent in my guardian setup. So if I move around now and try not to destroy everything that I've set up here in the office, you will see the kind of pass through of my office and I can put my head in and out to move in and out of the virtual world, which is pretty awesome. But I can move in front of it, for example, I can walk around my desk area and that is fixed in place now, which is really cool. You can move between your play space and your desk space naturally uh, as you'll always see it. So I think that's a really cool feature. It's very clever stuff from Oculus there. So now we've got our virtual desk space set up. Now it's time to bring the keyboard into VR. So let's turn this on and I can show you how to pair this keyboard. So we wanna to go to the settings, which is a pinch with your palm facing you. And again, in experimental features, we wanna roll down and go to Bluetooth pairing. Again, this might not come out in the recording, but I'll add some footage uh, over the top so you get an idea of what it actually looks like. And then to put the keyboard into pairing mode, we press FN and the delete button. That should flash the little light there. And there we go, the K830 has appeared for available devices. To finish pairing, we need to include a pairing code. So it's got a code on the display here, press return, and that should be paired. In your device settings, make sure that hand tracking and auto switch between hands and controllers are on, which I've already done. If you can't see your keyboard in VR, try adjusting your room lighting and make sure that your keyboard color contrasts with the surface that it's on, which it totally does in this space. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! There it is. So that is the keyboard. And Whoa, that's kind of interesting. Check this out. So this is kind of like the outline of my hands, but when I actually put my fingers on the keyboard, it actually goes into like a ghostly pass-through mode. That's actually kind of creepy. Wow. Nice, and that's going to make it much easier uh, to actually see what you're typing. So let's see how well we can actually track this keyboard. Okay, so it is moving around. Okay, a little bit. Okay, if we start moving it around very fast, it's kind of pushing the limits of being able to track. But if you do it fairly slowly, then it seems to work. 
I guess that it's using the, the backlit keys for tracking, uh, but it's pretty impressive that the Oculus Quest 2 can track objects uh, this way. So I suppose now let's uh, fire up the browser, which is the only real application that's native to the Quest that can support this right now, and uh, play around with some functionality, and then we'll log into Virtual Desktop and see what we can do there. Okay, so here we are in the Oculus browser, and as you can see, I've got two windows set up already, but you can actually have up to three windows at a time, which is really cool. It's almost like having three monitors surrounding you, which is really nice. And especially when you'll be able to use these different windows for different applications in the future, that'll be incredibly useful. So let's get up one more website, which is one of my favorites, and that is, of course, the Oculus Quest subreddit. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's super useful. The community there are really awesome. So let's go and check out that. And the cool thing is switching between using the keyboard and your hands feels very intuitive. It's kind of like, you know, using an iPad, for example. You use the keyboard, the virtual keyboard to type, but you use your finger and different gestures. <laughs> that video of the rat made me chuckle uh, to navigate around. It's very intuitive, which is really nice. So let's send a, a little tweet from within the uh, metaverse. Say hello to some people. So uh, let's bring this one. I don't know if we can, can we move it? Oh yeah, we can switch it around. That's really nice. Okay, let's tweet something. So, uh, hello world. I'm tweeting <laughs> this from the Oculus Quest 2 whilst testing out the Logitech K830 keyboard. Pretty cool. <laughs> tweet. <laughs> and there we go. Sent out a little tweet all within the metaverse itself, which is pretty sweet. So that is the Oculus browser. That's what you can do with it so far. It's pretty limited. They don't have like a little basic word pad or word processing program right now. That would be insanely useful. You could type up some notes in there and export them to Windows maybe uh, and then carry on your work somewhere else. But maybe I thought we should try out virtual desktop and I can show you what you can do with this when you pair this kind of setup with a PC uh, with virtual desktop. So let's check that out. Okay, so now here we are in virtual desktop and just look at this absolutely stunning apartment. It really is incredible. Just look at this video going on in the background. It's actually a 360 video with traffic moving in the background. It looks incredibly lifelike, just looks stunning. You can actually change it as well. So if I change it here in the menu, I can change it to daytime. So you've got a different view. And the cool thing is with this setup, I could remotely log into my PC from anywhere in the world, as long as I had my headset and a keyboard, or you could use the virtual keyboard and you could do some work remotely. So I could work on my next uh, video, for example, work on the next script. Uh, welcome to the Oasis. <laughs> my name's Mike, if you didn't know already. <laughs> and today I'm gonna show you something epic in VR. That's generally how it goes anyway. <laughs> The unfortunate thing is that you don't get the keyboard pass through. This is just a fixed virtual keyboard in the office space. So you don't get to see your hands. You don't get to see the Logitech keyboard that we set up earlier. It only works in Oculus Home right now and Oculus haven't enabled it to be used in other third party applications, which is a real shame because I think virtual desktop would really benefit from a feature like this. And hopefully they don't hold it back and kind of keep it to themselves. But I guess time will tell. But of course, we could also use the uh, pointer. So if you wanted to, if you weren't just writing a script, for example, you could uh, edit a video. So let's jump into a video that I recently made. Uh, this is a video that I made earlier this week about virtual desktop uh, versus Oculus Air Link. It would take you a little while longer, that's for sure. But once you kind of got used to it and got into the flow of it, certainly viable. It's something you could do, especially if you didn't have access to a monitor, if you were traveling around um, the world, for example, and you just had your headset with you. This is a really cool way of still being able to work. As long as your PC is on and connected to the internet, it works great. But that is, of course, all productivity stuff. What if you want to just have some fun and play some games using the keyboard? Well, a friend of mine, Eric Hartley, kind of inspired me to try this out. And if we get Steam up in big picture mode, and we can check out Typing of the Dead. Now, Oculus should just buy the license for this game and get a VR version just for this keyboard alone. And I think people would buy it because it's an awesome game and it's a great way to learn how to touch type. Um, 
it's just a shame that we don't have that overlay. Like I said, Oculus should really allow it for virtual desktop. Man, this is so cool. Playing this game with my keyboard. And by the way, the keyboard is still connected to the Quest. It's not connected to the PC. So all the keyboard commands are going through the Quest and then to the PC wirelessly. So now let's see how good my touch typing skills really are. Craving. Oh. Weightless. Manifesto. Reveal. No. <laughs> I'm not that good when it comes to pressure, especially with words that I don't normally use. Oxygen. E. Oh. <laughs> I forgot how stressful this game was. <laughs> ah. Slap head. I feel. I feel attacked. <laughs> So that's a little demonstration of House of the Dead Overkill using the Logitech K830, using Virtual Desktop with the Quest 2. Now let's jump to the outro so I can give you more of my thoughts on what it's like to use this kind of setup for productivity and where I think it's going to be headed in the future. Let's go. So that is my virtual office using the Logitech K830 keyboard with the Oculus Quest 2. The setup process was super straightforward and being able to see my desk, the keyboard overlay and the pass through of my hands was very impressive. And that will certainly make typing out long reams of text for work or school in virtual reality much easier in the future. Unfortunately though, these features are only available in the Oculus Home environment and there's very little you can actually do with it right now for me to recommend buying one yourself. If you do want to buy one yourself though, just be aware that there are two variants of this keyboard and you need to buy the Bluetooth edition. I've added a link to the one you need in the description down below. I really do hope that Oculus open up the keyboard tracking and the hand pass through features to third party developers so they can implement them in their own productivity and possibly even gaming applications. I would be so down for a native version of Typing of the Dead on the Quest. But typing aside, there are already some interesting applications that support remote working and collaboration in VR available on the Quest right now, such as Spatial and Immersed. So if you're interested in exploring more productivity applications on Quest, I'll add links to them in the description down below. And this raises a lot of questions. Will VR change the way we all work in the future? Will we be meeting up in virtual offices, chatting by the virtual water cooler? Drinking our real life coffee through straws because we can't use cups anymore? Will this revolutionize education or will it separate us even further from physical interaction? Maybe that's a good thing in times like these. There's a lot of questions that I don't have the answers for, but it's clear that we're on a path to working in VR sometime in the future. I'd love to know what you all think about this in the comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and make sure you're subscribed for all my future VR content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.